And we're gonna unmask him today by exposing you to the supernatural weapons of warfare that he is waging against you that you've got to learn today how to use to your benefit to whoop his tail. John, did I hit the nail on the head? <laughs> oh, yeah. Out of the park. Come on. Out of the park. You know, we're going to the enemy's camp today. We're going to unfold. We're going to break his patterns and cycles because the enemy can't create nothing new. But he has Christians bound, he has people bound in circumstances, situation, lifestyles, uh, generational curses that we have come to the norm and say, oh, this is the best that God has for me. This is who we are. That's what I'm supposed to be. I can't go any further than this financially. I can't go any further than this relationship. I can't go any further than this. My purpose and my destiny is mediocre. Why is all this stuff is coming? Why is the, the church today right. is under so much suffering yeah. and no one is taking a stand? and pointing the elephant in the room. Well, we appreciate you being the man on the battlefield to help expose who the devil is, what he's really doing, and watch this, how we unmask him and kick his tail. Yes. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. Amen to that. You are an expert when it comes to understanding the mindset of this enemy we call the devil, his demons, his legions, his imps, the power and the principality of the air, I want the people to understand why you, John Ramirez, are qualified to write such a book and lead us into the light on this circumstance. You were recently on Sid Roth's program, mm -hmm. and anybody who knows Sid Roth, in fact, Sid endorsed your book. Yes. Uh, this book will keep you three steps ahead of the devil through amazing revelation of our victory, uh, Sid Roth. You've all been to the movies, and we want to believe in ghosts. It's so easy, right? But when it comes to Hell, that satanic power. We find ourselves still asking, is this stuff real? The greatest trick that the devil pulled that made the world believe that he don't exist. But look at the tragedies. Read your newspapers. Look at the news. Look at the things that's going around you. Is that normal? Hmm. The patterns and cycles of the enemy. You, you, you have a riot in some state. And then how, how that riot is sometime later transfer over. You have a shooting at a mall here and then later on it transfers over to this other mall and yeah. some other state how yeah. that's happening is that normal is these two people know each other right they didn't even know each other it is patterns and cycles of the dark side how the enemy infiltrate culture how the enemy infiltrate humanity and brings pain suffering and, and destruction because the, the goal of the enemy is that to make it believe that god doesn't exist and now i, ha I had a phd of doing so so i know that whatever you're going through today, whatever situation, season you're going through, and we have settled and we have conned in our mind that this is supposed to be normal. This is all it is. And the truth of the reality of it, no, it's not. Because the patterns and cycles and the devil is so alive today that we can even touch him if we really have spiritual eyes to see into the spirit realm. So part first, understanding who the devil is. Yes. That hell is real that there is a supernatural attack on you today. And you're, you wrote a book to unmask him, mm -hmm. which is to mean what? To expose the devil and where he is operating in the areas of our life that we may not even recognize. Did I get that right? Yeah, this book, when it comes to spiritual warfare, when it comes to patterns and cycles, when it comes to tormenting things that are going on in your life so supernatural that you can't put your finger on it, I promise you, that this book will lead you to a place of freedom. It will lead to a place to understand the weapons of our warfare, to understand that we're fighting an enemy, an eternal enemy, to understand how he's so limited if you know how to use the right tools, if wow. you know how to use the, the Lord, teach my hands to war against this devil. Because the bottom line is a lot of Christians are doing general prayers, but no one is being a spiritual sniper. And we need to bring down targets in the enemy's camp. And this book here will teach you how limited the devil is and how your situation in your life is temporary, but you can get rid of it. It's like training. If I go into a ring and I want to be a boxer, I need someone professional to train me. the truth. Right? If I want to be a singer, I need someone professional to help me how to, to know how to carry my notes. Right? So this book is going to teach you on the spiritual warfare aspect, how to carry yourself through and get to the finish line. And everything that Jesus had wrote about you in heaven, your resume will match you on earth once you get rid of that devil. Is it possible, John, that someone who is out there watching, listening to this show, could have a demonic oppression in an area of their life that they don't even know about? 
Oh, yeah. We go into that whole thing saying uh, uh, Christians don't have demons, uh, Christians don't have this. That, that, that is hogwash. That is hogwash because you, you can have whatever you want, whatever you open the door to, whatever you entertain, whatever bad decisions you have made. Regardless, you can love Jesus Christ and still be bound. Lazarus loved Jesus Christ and he was still in the cave dead. Mm. Until Jesus showed mm. up, until Jesus came to the door and called them out. And Jesus is calling you out today through this book to show you that you can be free. You can be break every demonic, every demonic, not only in your life, but the generation of curses in your family. There's good generation of blessings in your family. There's bad generation of curses. What are you going to do with the bad one? Because we get the whole, how, how would you say, we save, everything goes away. If I have a bunion in my shoe, if I have a bunion in my toe, I'm saved. The bunion's still going to be there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I remember, I, I share one quick testimony. I remember I had ceremonies. Ceremonies? In my body. What do you mean? All ritual, demonic, uh, demonic contracts of rituals and demonic contracts of different principalities. First, second heaven, ground demons. I have, from the age of eight, I was initiated with ceremony, rituals. From the age that to the age of 35, I got the marks here. I can show you my marks here that I sold the soul to my devil. Wow. See, these are the marks right there. Wow. Those are my marks right there. So all that stuff was all engrafted in me. And I remember the day they put me in the baptism pool. I saw two big hands. I mean, this is, I, I, I tell you, two big hands went into the baptism pool and ripped out every ceremony out of my body. And that's how I got my deliverance. God, you yourself went through deliverance. Yeah, I was set free in my baptism pool. God knows how to set you free. Do you want your freedom? Then do you want to fight back? Do you want to be more than a conqueror? Because you can, you can quote more than a conqueror. You can quote, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. You can quote all that, but you're still bound. Because the weapons of our warfare, you need to understand them. They're supernatural, and you need someone to guide you and show you how to war against the enemy's camp. And expose. Expose the situation. For aspirity, it's, it's a good thing to have. But let's say I, I get people that come up to me on uh, prayer lines and uh, altar calls. I get sure. massive altar calls. And sure. people say to me, I got cancer. My mother had cancer. My aunt had cancer. How do I break the generation of curse? I'm, I'm dying. I got four-stage cancer. You, you it, mean, wait a minute. You mean that a physical ailment? Mm -hmm. I've heard this growing up, a physical ailment, sickness or disease, might in fact be something happening in the demonic realm. It, absolutely. I got two crazy testimonies. I went to a church uh, in Queens in, uh, last year, and the lady said, I'm a Hindu, and I got four-stage cancer. I said, so what do you want me to do? And she said, well, I'm just giving you my situation. I came for prayer. I said, well, first of all, what's your God done for you lately? And she <laughs> said to me, she said to me, nothing. I said, well, my God can do two things. He can save you. He can heal you. I lay hands on her. We pray. She received the salvation prayer. A year later, I get invited back to this church. The first person is waiting for me at the door is that lady. She said, remember me? I said, I'm sorry. I see so many people. I don't. She said, you know what? I'm the lady that was Hindu. You pray for me. I went back to the doctors. Not only I got saved, my salvation is sealed, but I went back to the doctors and the four-state cancer left me. What? I mean, think about it. I prayed for this lady in Canada a couple of months ago. She had MS. And she said, she said, my doctors, I got MS. I said, you want to keep it or you want to get rid of it? <laughs> and it's all because everything that God has given me is all in, the, in this book. Everything, every, every ounce of a God, a spiritual warfare God has given me is in this book. I don't read other books. The only book I read is the Bible, by the way. Well, and no offense in the one book. Of but course I, not. Because I want God to give me straight from the throne how to fight and how to teach the church how to fight. Well, you're on a mission. I mean, God is... Oh, I'm in a super mission. God is... Uh, I'm getting my 25 years back. The devil stole from me and then some. <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> Believe that. And I would say that every, you're on a mission to make sure mm -hmm. that everybody watching gets everything back that was stolen from them mm -hmm. and then some. But say the and then some. Took from them, but the locust has stolen from oh, you. Come on. But the devil has stolen from you. If your father was an alcoholic or you have cancer or you had diabetes and you had all this stuff, Man, beat that devil down. You know what's you know what's wrong with the church today, my brother? Mm -hmm. You know what's wrong with the church today? We too much on the defense. We are too much on the defense, waiting for God to do this. I'm waiting for God to show up. I'm waiting for God to bless me. I'm waiting for God to do And, you know, we need to be in the offense. We need to bring it to the devil like he never seen it before in his lifetime. We need to sneak attack the devil. We need to really go into the devil's camp and say, you know, enough is enough. I'm tired because now I know how to fight. Well, amen. And now I know how to fight. John, I want you to look into the camera, and I want you to look straight into the viewer's eyes, and I want you to tell the viewer why they need this book. Tell them right now. You know, I am a crazy Christian that know how to deal with the devil. And the devil knows it. And the devil's mad. I get emails from hell, Satan, people saying Satan is emails. They're going to kill you. Witchcraft people calling me. All because I wrote a book. Because I want your life to be free. I don't care. I'm like poor. I don't care if I'm poor. like a drink offering. I don't care if I'm poor. I'm the sacrifice. As long as you get what God has for you. I know that when I get to heaven, Jesus Christ, when I close my eyes, I make Jesus Christ proud. I wrote this book for you. 
Not for me, because when you write a book and it's true to the core, you're not writing it for yourself. You're writing it for someone else. Amen. You can be free. You can stay free. And you can live whatever 10 years, 15, 20 years, whatever life you have left. Let it be the best years of your life because you know how to fight spiritually. Amen. Wow. 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 Get the book.